since most of you want to start out, I really think that don't go aim for these tigers and elephants and all that because they've been done, overdone many times. And the reason I wanted to end that with that praying mantis sequence is that that's something you can shoot in your own backyard. You don't need to go somewhere and all that. And what you really need to know is the art of storytelling. Okay. Some of the, there's one film called My Life as a Turkey. If you can download it, watch it somewhere. Okay, it's called My Life as a Turkey. It's a simple thing about this guy grows up with uh, five, uh, four turkey chicks. It's like a typical rural India where you have chicken hands and chicken and all that. But beautifully done. Beautiful script writing, beautiful story, and of course visually it's, it's, it's really nice. And I'm sure all of you have DSLRs today, right? So if you have video modes, you can easily do it. You can actually edit all your stuff in the laptops. So I would say try to tell stories which haven't been told. Don't go for the exotic, go for the easy, but try to show it in a different perspective. Simple, different perspective will put you up in the market versus what everyone else is doing. Because everyone goes with the 800mm lens, the same tiger, blurred background, eye level portraits. But I think we're done with that. I think you know a lot of people now are attempting, and I was showing you some of the stuff earlier, wide angle, you know? Wide angle perspective of animals, you know, as if you're sitting right next to the animal, fish eye with animals close up. Uh, or or uh, new, again, images that can tell stories. 